For you surfers and prospective surfers who are stuck at home right now and can't enjoy the ocean in the ways that you normally would, we wanted to create some activities for you, some exercises and stretches that will help keep you preoccupied and hopefully have you back in the lineup stronger than you were before. So we wanted to create this first episode uh, focusing primarily on the upper body, particularly the shoulders, doing different stretches and exercises that are going to improve your mobility and strength when it comes time for you to get back in the ocean. So you're going to want to find a chair or a bench or some place where you can sit with your legs at 90 degrees. Go ahead, start by putting your right hand under your right buttock, and then you're going to lean off to the left side. And with your off hand, your left hand in this case, you can start pulling your head towards the left shoulder. If you want to get a little bit deeper into the lats, you can lean forward with the chin down towards the sternum. After maybe about 10 seconds on the right side, you can switch over to the left side. So you go ahead and sit on the left hand, take your right ear to your right shoulder, and then stretch out your neck with the off hand. Again, you can move your hand to the back of your head and take your chin down towards your sternum for a bit of a different angle. So your setup for the neck rotations is very important. You want to put your spine in a good position. So you're going to start with a nice tall posture, shoulders back and down, retract the chin, and then you're going to start by taking the right ear to the right shoulder, then the chin to the shoulder, ear back to the shoulder, and then all the way across. So now the left ear comes to the left shoulder, then the chin goes to the shoulder, left ear back to the left shoulder, and then all the way across. Really try to focus on keeping your ears in line with your shoulders and the chin should be tucked back towards the back wall to maintain a nice straight up and down aligned posture. So for the funky chicken, again, you wanna make sure you have a nice tall aligned posture, shoulders back and down. Start with your neck in a neutral position then you're gonna look towards the ceiling, but first you need to bring the chin forward. So chin comes forward, then eyes up, chin up towards the ceiling, chin back down and forward, and then retract the neck. So the chin goes towards the back wall before looking down. So every time you look up, the chin needs to come forward. Every time you look down, the chin needs to retract, like you're making a double chin. So for this deep lat opener, you want to make sure you find a nice flat surface like a bench. Start by taking your legs up into 90 degrees. The medicine ball will be held straight above your face. And then you're just going to take the med ball down towards the floor. Let it rest nice and heavy in your hands. And the weight of that med ball behind the head should really start to open up those lats nice and deep. If you need to take a break, go ahead, bring the med ball back in front of your face, reset, and then again, going deeper into the stretch, let that ball guide your arms deep back behind your head towards the floor. So here's another deep lat and side body opener, you're going to want to find a vertical beam, rail, or pole, something that you can grab onto. Go ahead, start with your right arm, thumb facing down, grab onto that vertical railing and sink back into your legs and hips. As the butt goes down, we're leaning off to the right side and you should feel a nice pull from the right hip all the way through to your right hand. After about 10 or 15 seconds, you want to stay here a little bit longer. This is a nice and juicy stretch. You can switch over to the opposite side. You can even rest your off arm on the inside of your opposite knee if that's more comfortable. For this posterior deltoid stretch, you're just going to want to take the right arm across your body 
and with the left arm, you'll squeeze that elbow in nice and tight towards your midline. You wanna try and create some resistance here to get deeper into the stretch. So you're pushing your right arm into the inside of your left elbow. Then you can go ahead and switch, holding this stretch for maybe 10 or 15 seconds. Really try and create a lot of tension and resistance. For this deep tricep stretch, you can find a railing or table or something that's about chest to ribcage height. Go ahead, split your stance. You're going to guide both elbows into that rail. Your elbows should be about shoulder width distance. As you're getting deeper into this stretch, you can sink into your legs, into your split stance, and also bring the prayer hands down towards your back. Go ahead, set up a mat. This next opener is gonna be on the floor. So you're gonna to wanna to take your right arm out into a 90 degree angle. The left arm will be extended and you're just gonna open up that left leg and reaching for the opposite side of the mat, trying to get deep into that shoulder and that chest into the pec. After maybe 10 or 15 seconds here, you can go ahead and switch. So you'll wanna take the left arm into a 90 degree angle, extend the right arm, and then the left leg comes behind, reaching as far back as your body will allow. You can even tent the fingers of the right hand for a little bit deeper of a stretch, really trying to get into that left pec and creating more space through your chest. So for this side-lying delt stretch, we're trying to create internal rotation in the shoulder capsule in the joint. So you're gonna lay on your side, you can bend your legs and do a 90 degree angle. The right elbow goes into the floor at a 90 degree angle and you're just trying to guide the hand down towards the floor. It's okay if the hand doesn't come all the way down flat. You're just trying to get it as close as you can. Make sure in this stretch that you're really keeping everything at 90 degrees. This is a classic time-tested yoga asana that really works great to warm up the spine for all types of different activities. You can also get nice and deep into the shoulders here. So I want your focus to really be on keeping weight evenly distributed through your palms, trying to bring the forehead and the nose back towards your shins, really opening up through the shoulders. So for this first strength exercise, you're going to want to start in a plank position, arms fully extended. You're going to push up into the top of your push-up, trying to spread out the shoulder blades as if you were in a cat-cow at the top of a cat. And then you're just retracting the scapula, squeezing them together on the descent. So you're not going all the way down to the floor. You're just staying in the shoulders, bringing the scapula together, and then spreading them apart. So you're going to be in the plank position again for this exercise. What you're trying to do is keep neutral hips and alternating hand to opposite shoulder, shoulder taps. Okay, maybe just tap for less than a second, trying to maintain a nice even plank without moving the hips too much to either side. So for clock circles, it's really important that you squeeze the scapula together, shoulders back and down. And then you're just imagining that you have a clock on either end of your fingertips and you're just turning the dials. So to start, we're going to have the thumbs facing forward, palms down, 
and your circles are going to be going forward. And then after about 20 repetitions, you can flip the palms up towards the ceiling, thumbs going back, and we're spinning the clock in the opposite direction. Go ahead, grab a band for this next exercise. You're going to put some tension in the band, creating a nice A-frame with your upper body. You'll take the band from in front of your waist, keeping tension on that line the entire time. Arms are nice and extended. You're just going to bring the band to the back side of your body. Let's stick with the band again for this next exercise. Before we initiate our band pull-aparts, let's make sure to set the shoulders back and down, focusing on squeezing the scapula together. Arms go from the front of the body all the way out to the side, squeezing those scaps and pulling the band apart as much as it'll allow. For elbows high and outside, make sure you set up against a wall so your back should be nice and flat against that wall. You're going to start with your arms resting by your side. You'll take the elbows up high and outside into 90 degree angles. Flip the palms so they're facing forward and then reaching for the sky. Again, make sure you're squeezing the scapula together here, staying engaged, and the rib cage is Nice and down, belly button in, core turned on. You're going to want to stay against the wall for this next exercise. Let's start by squeezing the scapula together, taking the arms out in front of us. And then I want you to imagine you're holding a plate or a wheel in between your hands and you're just rotating your hands from top to bottom. So you can grab a tennis ball or a ball that is slightly bigger and heavier for this exercise up against the wall. You're going to just extend your right arm out in front of you nice and engaged, grabbing the ball and then just dropping it quickly. You should feel your delts really turn on here, trying to keep that arm extended and locked out in front of you, dropping the ball but not letting it go all the way to the floor. For this final exercise, find a bench where you can lay down in a prone position. You're going to start with your palms facing up, touching right above your buttocks, behind the low back. And then you're going to rotate the arms out in front of you, all the way in front of the top of your head. And as you're bringing those arms forward, you're rotating the palms down. So palms up. Arms come out nice and wide and meet in front of your face, and the palms go down. If you liked this video and would like to see more content like it, we're going to be producing these different surfer series for stretching, mobility, and strength uh, every Saturday. We're calling them Supple Saturdays, so make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.